In this question, which posterior mediastinal structure is most closely applied to the posterior surface of the pericardial sac? In this case, we have to imagine transverse section of the thorax, whether it's an axial CT, MRI, or an actual transverse section of the thorax, and keep in mind the structure that is located in the posterior mediastinum and that is closely related to the pericardial sac immediately lies immediately posterior to the pericardial sac this is the left atrium which forms the base of the heart the posterior surface of the heart and behind the left atrium look is located the oblique pericardial sinus and behind the pericardial sinus immediately is the esophagus so this is the esophagus behind the oblique pericardial uh, sinus and that's why in uh, patients with mitral stenosis where there will be narrowing of the mitral valve resulting in enlargement of the left atrium the left atrium might compress on the esophagus and the patient might suffer from dysphagia and in addition to that narrowing of the esophagus can be seen in an oblique or lateral barium uh, swallow in which the left atrium notches the esophagus so let's go into the options here a aorta aorta is also located behind but it's a little far from the pericardial sac the azygous vein is located a little bit behind the esophagus actually and a little bit to the right side of it then the thoracic duct thoracic duct is almost located in the same situation posterior to the esophagus so it is also incorrect the trachea at this level we don't have the trachea because the trachea already has already bifurcated at the level of the sternal angle so the trachea will by no means be related to the posterior surface of the pericardial sac and again the correct answer is the esophagus